Okay, it's been three years, but it's been a different kind of three years. Next, y'all are just going to watch me figure out what in the world I'm about to do to this head. Hello, hello everybody. It is Cicely Justine here and we are back with yet another Sister Lock update so before we get started you already know one of my favorite things to do i gotta get y'all a little dance break I gotta give y'all like a little bit of dance break, okay? So anyway, <clears throat> where? Okay, I got my hair done. Well, I got my, okay. Let me start over. <laughs> it is now been, it has now been, let me count. Here I go with this. Every, every since the lock up day, I gotta count. So it has been three years and three months since I have gotten my sister locks. So we have really come a long way. So what's been going on? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the big reveal, okay? Probably like, child, what you got going on in your head? Okay, look, <laughs> for those who don't know and for those who have not been following my journey, let me catch you up in just a couple seconds, okay? So, <laughs> I, okay, a month after I got my sister locked, I found out I was pregnant, okay? During that time, I went through a lot of postpartum shedding and I lost all of this. Here go some pictures, okay? Now, <laughs> I started to get it back maybe like last year and coming up this year, well this year and a little bit of last year, I started to have it grow like it needed to grow back. So I waited till it kind of grew back and then my new loctician put some brand new sister locks in the front and kind of regrid it and started over in the front. So this, that's why my hair is currently banded and is short up here for those that aren't banded. That's what's going on. Okay, so let's get back into the sister lock update. Things that have changed. I didn't get any slippage with this retighting. So usually I'm getting slippage. It's been about two retightings that I think I haven't had a slippage. Yeah, because I don't think I did a sister lock update um, my last retight either. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I have, yes. I haven't had slippage in two and a half going on three months. Shout out to my hair. Shout out to my hair. My hair is coming through. It's doing exactly what I said that it was going to do. It's just going to take time, patience, and we were gonna get there. So that's number one, no slippage, okay? Number two update. <clears throat> so I don't know what's going on over here, but to me, that look like a little balding going on. And I ain't feeling that. So for all my locticians out there, cause y'all are basically my honorary locticians, y'all be giving me advice in the comments and things like that. So for my honorary lacticians out there, or if you know about hair and know what's going on, what can I put just right here in this area to get it to kind of grow back? Let me know because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Now, what else is new? Okay, it's, this is really not new, okay? Um, I told y'all in many videos, including my last video about my seven regrets of my Susalak journey, that basically, 
I cannot put water or products in my hair. Y'all probably like, you can do whatever you want to do. Stop letting your lactician tell you what you can and cannot do. Listen to your own hair. You a grown woman. What you mean you can't put water and oil in your hair? Look, <laughs> these locks are new, meaning that they take time to lock. It can take up to a year for these locks to actually lock. That's why they still banned it. So in order to keep those locks safe, my lactician is like, no oil, no water. Now, what I could do for my locks that are actually locked, I could put oil and water back there. I probably should, you know. But as far as going up here with these brand new locks, I'm just going to stick to the advice because it sounds like good advice. And I'm going to stay away from the oil and water. So that's what I'm doing. So those are the three updates. No slippage. A little balding right here. I don't know what's going on right there. And then still not using any oil and water in my hair, especially at the top. Now, for the back, my honorary lacticians, let me know, you know, what kind of oil and water, I mean, what kind of products do y'all use? Maybe I should just specifically focus on the scalp and not so much the hair. Like as far as the rose water, whatever y'all using, put it below. Link all of y'all, what y'all recommend I put like in, a, in my scalp back here. What should I put on it? Cause I'm new to this. Okay, it's been three years, but it's been a different kind of three years. So I'm basically a baby. <laughs> So go ahead, please comment some products that y'all recommend. If it's rose water, what kind, what brand, or let me know. I don't know where to start, okay? So anyway, it is time to do a link check. So let's get into the link check. Ooh, she cute. Ooh, she cute. Ooh, she cute. Ooh, okay. All right, let's get into it. Make sure. Y'all are just going to watch me figure out what in the world I'm about to do to this head. Because we got date night tonight. And I need to start getting ready now. Starting with my hair. So, watch me work my magic skills. that is the end of sister lock update three years and three months yes it has been what a journey if y'all been rocking with me if you know you know if you don't know go catch up because you'll be fully entertained <laughs> but anyway thank you all so much for watching if you're new here i made videos about sister lock lifestyle womanhood and fashion and if you like my vibe Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and I need your help. So I will see you all on the next video. Bye bye.